Welcome to another video from Great Out 60. So, Wei Fong is feeling good again, and uh, everybody knows what that means. <laughs> when we're feeling good, we're on the road, we're traveling. So, today we're going to jump on a ferry, head to Vancouver, uh, and then uh, we'll probably end up in, uh, in Merritt, in the Okanagan Valley here today. But we'll be, we'll be checking in with you periodically along the road. So, get ready for a great adventure. Well, the first leg of our trip is getting on to a ferry at uh, Departure Bay to Horseshoe Bay, North Vancouver. So, yes, so we're at the ferry terminal and there's all the cars parked. Everybody's waiting to get on the ferry. It costs, I can't remember, but it's uh, like it's about $90. So being on Vancouver Island to get off this island, it's sort of like a penal colony. You got to pay to get off. It's sort of like paying a fine to get off the island. It's, 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 it's like that. It, and it, a lot of people don't leave the island because it costs 100 bucks one way and 100 bucks the other way. Well, 95, $89.10. So Wei Fong is feeling better. Say hello, Wei Fong. Hi, everybody. Hey. So we're, 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 tra we're traveling today and it's been a long time since we got to travel. So. Stay tuned for the rest of the adventure. Well, we made it onto the ferry. It's uh, about 8.30 in the morning. So we're heading for heading for Horseshoe Bay in, in uh, North, North Vancouver. It costs $93.75 for two people in a car to get on a ferry to leave Vancouver Island. I know, it's like being in prison got to pay your fine before you get out but the ferry ride will be nice I'll be hoping that there's whales out here because they uh, they had dragon boat races the other day in, in uh, Nanaimo and they had to postpone them because they had uh, orcas in their way the killer whales so that was that was quite interesting it's gonna be a beautiful trip because Wei Fong's been sick we've been we've been sort of stuck in Nanaimo for I don't know 15 16 months and for a couple that are used to traveling around the world it's been a little bit difficult on us so this is this trip to through BC Alberta and Saskatchewan and we're gonna take it really we're gonna call it a slow troll through through uh, through the western provinces of Canada and uh, we're gonna just uh, see how see how we we fare after 15 16 months of just sitting on our on our asses and and you know not really going anywhere or doing anything uh, more more uh, uh, concerned with Wei Fong's health than, than anything else but because she's feeling better this is a prelude yes this is a prelude uh, trip to uh, to going back to China so if Wei Fong fares well in this trip we're going to jump on an airplane and get the hell out of Canada back to Nanning China where the Sun is always shining and the beer is always cold yes Guelo likes his son and beer. Well, this is the last we're going to see of Nanaimo for about three weeks. So, uh, there it is. Every time I get on a ferry, going, leaving, leaving Vancouver Island or going to Vancouver Island, I do notice how beautiful it is here. Like, uh, living in paradise, it's, uh, it's a it's a contrast to, to China where we usually live just look at behind us see all of the boats over here and around they're all fishing boats they're fishing for salmon they're fishing for halibut rock cod ring cod things like that but the air is fresh the water's clean oh yeah check it out what a beautiful place to live Oh, and if anybody was wondering, we're on the Queen of the Oak Bay Ferry, BC Ferry System. There's only three different ways to get onto Vancouver Island or off of Vancouver Island. Well, four if you have your own boat. Uh, BC Ferries, as we're on right now, uh, float planes that, that travel from downtown Nanaimo uh, to downtown Vancouver. I think that's about a hundred bucks a head. So you're you're there in 10, 15 minutes, and uh, the 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 third the third way to get off or on the island is uh, airport to airport from uh, Vancouver Airport to Cassidy Airport. 
but that's about 15 miles south of Nanaimo so and it's expensive and then you got to take a cab or they do have a bus that takes that, that runs sometimes but so you know we're pretty secluded from the rest of the world here there's there's uh, there is that uh, traveling on and off the island and that, that's a deterrent to a lot of the people that uh, that live on the island to travel like, like, what what was it ninety three dollars and seventy five cents for a car and two people is what we paid so what would that be an RMB about five hundred RMB just under five hundred RMB yeah that's that's a whack of cash fast forward about uh, an hour and forty minutes and we're pulling into Horseshoe Bay North Vancouver oh yeah. Check this out for a pretty. Okay. Just another beautiful day in BC. And you're probably wondering where you stick the car as well. They've got decks below, decks below, decks below. You can see they just they just have rows and rows and rows of vehicles, and you can get semi trailers and, and big campers and. Whatever you need, motorcycles, there's foot traffic, there's everything on these things. So, we are on the bottom deck. Way down in the bottom of the boat. Here. Okay. And there we are. But you see, on this side here, there's like, wow. See, these aren't just fly-by-night operations. This is BC Ferry System. It's not like the, the Russian trawler we took to Hainan Island from Guangdong Province. No, they've got cafeterias and nice seating. They've got everything. This is a pretty nice place. We're back, we're back in the car and you gotta, you gotta look at this because like, that's a, we got Doritos, we got chips, we got cheesies we got we got like when we travel we've got a 12 pack of water when we travel in the vehicle we we like to munch out on munchies and we don't eat healthy but we're traveling yes two bags of doritos two bags of chips and two bags of cheesies when we went to the store the other day uh we found about a pair of sunglasses ten dollars and then we bought some water it was like four bucks and uh, we spent thirty dollars. So the other sixteen dollars was uh, cheesies, Doritos, and chips for the road. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. That's how we roll. Well, a trip through BC wouldn't be the same without a without a stop in Vancouver. And uh, we're down by we're down by the the, the bay, the bay. And uh, we're at the we're at the place at the the sea the seaplanes from Nanaimo dock, just over just over behind me here. I've noticed that the the population of uh, Vancouver is, I'd say, 50% uh, Chinese, Asian, uh, Korean, Japanese, East Indian, and uh, yeah. multicultural to say the least. This is one of the parks. We're downtown Vancouver, and and uh, it took us half an hour, 40 minutes to find a parking spot, really. We, we even went into a parkade and uh, drove through the whole place, not one parking spot. We just got lucky, I guess. But you can see on the other side there, North Vancouver. So when people think that Vancouver or Canada is like Hillbillyville, look behind me. It's not. It's like, this is this is a, a nice modern city. But for my likes, Ah, you know, I like the smaller places in Canada. It's just, uh, it's too busy. It's not like China. They, they, uh, there's no place to park. I guess it is like China. There's no place to park. There's too many people. Oh, I miss China. One thing I did notice in Vancouver that they're, they're, uh, they're artificial. Look at, even this grass. This grass is fake. So if you're too cheap, too lazy to cut the grass, just put in uh, green carpet, I guess. Well, we made it out of Vancouver here, I don't know, an hour and a bit to go. And I thought that, uh, well, we're just outside Chilliwack, British Columbia. And we're, we're gonna be going into the Rocky Mountains soon. So I, th I thought I'd let you see 
the beginning of the Rocky Mountains and how pretty they are. It's, it's nice. And uh, we're just in front of <laughs> Anus Road. I had to stop because, you know, Canadians have a sense of humor and uh, Anus Road. Is that childish of me to stop on the side of the highway? To, uh, probably is. We got cornfields all through over here. I'm going to take you over to the cornfield so you can see. Oh, maybe I'm not because it looks like a slough there. Anyway, it's a beautiful country. Oh, did I point out Anus Road? <laughs> well, we've made it all the way to Hope, BC, and I can prove it. See? Hope, Hope, BC. And around here, if you see, we're, we're in the mountains now. We got the big mountains around, all around. It's beautiful here. It's a nice, sunny, warm sum, summer day. Oh yeah. We're gonna slow troll all the way through Southern BC. This is gonna take us a week or two. When they say Rocky Mountains, what, 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 why do they call them the Rocky Mountains? Well, you can see up on the peak here that it's like, rocky rocky mountains it's amazing that these trees even grow in this stuff you know you look around but this is a this is a good example this is we're, we're on the summit of the coca Hollow freeway uh, and that was put in in the, the late 80s I remember in 1990 I was driving the same road and they used to charge $20 a car to go one way on the Coquihalla because the only other way was to take highway number three down through the Crow's Nest Pass and you'd burn more than 20 bucks worth of gas and it would take you about three hours, four hours longer. So this is like the modern road through the Rocky Mountains of British Columbia. Look at that. Is that ever, ever neat? Yes. And I'm, and I'm doing this because most Canadians and Americans know this. Uh, maybe there's other Australians, Brits, French, whatever that don't. But for, for my Chinese viewers, uh, Canada's beautiful and it ha it's diversified from, uh, from seas to lakes to prairies to mountains to you name it. But this is, this is a classic Rocky Mountain Peak. It doesn't look big, but we're already at the top of the mountain. That's the top of the top of the mountain. You know what I mean. So then at the end of the day, we end up in a motel in Merritt, BC. And we are bushed. We started at, well, we got up at 5.30, 6 o'clock this morning. And we ate breakfast. We got on the ferry. We drove through Vancouver. We, you, you saw it all. Anyway, that's another video from Greylow60. We're going to bed now. Uh, if you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button, and thanks for watching. Bye now.